Hey y'all, it's Thomasina. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Thomasina and I am a model slash content creator slash many other things living in New York City. And on my channel, I give you tips and tricks on how you can become a model. And I show you guys the real lifestyle of what it's like to be a model. We do not gatekeep on this channel. I try to give you guys all the tools that you will need to get started in your successful career as a model. So with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 10 things that every model or aspiring model should have. And we're starting off with an honorable mention. Shout out to the sponsors of this video, Udi, which is basically like a hoodie and a blanket in one. I am definitely one of those models that is always cold. Literally on almost every set that I've worked, production always has to locate a mini space heater just for me because I'll be freezing on set and everyone else is like normal and comfortable in room temperature. Depending on what kind of set you're working on, not every set gives models robes and like flip-flops and things to sit in while they're waiting for their next change. And sometimes I feel bad for bothering production about being cold because they have so many other things to worry about. So having an hoodie is so convenient and it's oversized. Like look how big this thing is. It completely swallows me. So I never have to worry about being cold on set since discovering the hoodie. It is literally the most cozy item of clothing I probably own. So all my other models out there that suffer from anemia, this is probably going to be one of your best investments if you don't want to be that obnoxious model on set that's always asking for a personal space heater but if you guys want to check out the other designs and colors and patterns that they have on their website i'll drop my link and discount code in the description of this video the second thing every aspiring model should have is an assortment of crop tops or form-fitting tank tops i literally have a white crop top i have a black crop top i have a gray crop top but you want to at least start off with these three base colors they're super simple neutral pretty much go great against any colored background so these are the things that you want to start with and for my guys make sure you have you know white tank top black tank top form fitting nothing loose or baggy you are going to wear these on rotation whether you're going to a casting whether you're taking digitals when i first started modeling i would be going to castings and seeing what other girls are wearing and then I started to pick up on it. So I'm just saving you guys the trouble. Go ahead and order you a case of uh, tank tops. You can literally get them for $4 on uh, To Me. I think that's what it's called, To Me, Shein. If you're against fast fashion, then go somewhere else, but it's very, very inexpensive investment. Very important that your neckline is visible. When you're going to castings um, or just presenting as a model in general, people want to see um, what your neckline, what your shoulders, um, what this area looks like. They want to see, you know, if you have any tattoos, if you have any scarring, any discoloration or anything like that. And so wearing tank tops just make it easier. Everything is out in the open for them to see. Coming in at number three, the third item that every aspiring model should have, some form-fitting black jeans or pants. Again, you're seeing a common thread here, form-fitting clothing. No one's going to want to book you if they don't know what you really look like. So wearing form-fitting clothing allows casting directors and bookers and agents to see what your shape is without you having to be naked. So you should really have a nice pair of form-fitting black jeans. I didn't have my first nice pair of form-fitting black jeans until I got my first modeling contract, which is funny. Again, I was going to all these castings in New York, coming from North Carolina, and I was seeing the difference in, you know, what girls were wearing, and I was like, okay, I definitely need, you know, some tighter pants. I would just have a pair of form-fitting black jeans and a pair of form-fitting, um, like, regular denim jeans. Those two, again, those two are going to be on rotation, whether you're going to castings, whether you're going to fittings, whether you're meeting with agencies, um, you're just going to be wearing those two pair of jeans over and over and over again. So invest in a good pair. And for my guys, I usually don't see men wearing form fitting jeans in their digitals and like castings and stuff. They're usually a little bit like baggier, but just wear something that fits you well, not something that's going to be hanging off your behind. Nobody wants to see your underwear. Just get a nice pair um, of jeans that just fit your shape and that are long enough for your height, but you don't have to go in with like tight skinny jeans. 
mostly just for my women, you want tighter, tighter pants. The fourth thing that every aspiring model should have is a makeup bag of like your essential, um, quick everyday makeup items. And so this does not mean go out and buy all of Sephora. You guys know that I am very frugal and I want to give you the tips and tricks that will help you get a more successful modeling career without breaking the bank. There are just a few items that you'll need for your everyday makeup, no makeup look. You should definitely have a good concealer. You should definitely have a good foundation. You should have a solid mascara, some kind of contour. So I use the Fenty Beauty contour stick. That thing has lasted me for like two years. It is so amazing. A little goes a long way if you use the right shade. So you have your foundation, your concealer, your contour, your mascara, maybe a tinted gloss for my more fair skin girlies. They love, you know, a rosy lip and a rosy cheek. So if you could get a tinted gloss, I think that would be great because it doesn't look like you're wearing like a face full of makeup, but it does give you a little more pop of color and also blush again going for that pop of color now you could just get one stick of maybe like a red or a pink lipstick and use that for both your blush and your lip if you're really really trying to save money but those are the basic things that you'll need for a no makeup makeup look and that's the kind of look that you're going to be going for most of the time as a model and for my guys the most you'll probably need is like a chapstick and maybe a little concealer if you are having like if you got a blemish on the day of a shoot and they want you to show up makeup ready it's nice to have some concealer on hand just to kind of patch that up a little bit but guys have it easy they don't really have to worry about things like that coming in at number five and number six every aspiring model should have these two type of heels so you should have a black open-toed sandal like so and you should also have a black booty. Now it doesn't have to be a skinny heel like this. I would actually prefer a chunkier heel. I've just yet to find like my perfect chunky heel black boot. So I always wear these, but having these two are essential. Once you start making some money as a model and you wanna invest in another pair of shoe, I would also get this in nude. Um, so I have this in black, I have it in nude, I have it in a few other colors, but your basic black, is definitely the starter shoe and then booty basic black booty is definitely a starter shoe if you want to show up to castings in heels I feel like the black booty is your safest bet it's very um, it's casual you know it can be casual this seems a little bit more upscale but it's just nice to have an open-toed shoe readily available the seventh thing that every model should have this one is more so for my ladies that are watching this video, but you should definitely have some nipple covers and it should be flesh colored nipple covers. So when I first started out, I did not know that there were nipple colors that were my complexion. So I had nipple covers that were nude, but not my shade of nude, if you guys know what I mean. So definitely make sure you get covers that match your complexion and that are seamless because there are a lot of the flower ones right and yeah they're cute and whatever but they show up through your clothing if you're if a client dresses you in tight form-fitting clothing kind of like this tank top you're gonna see the imprint of the flower on your bosom so you definitely want a seamless simple um bosom cover definitely invest in that early on kind of leaning in the same direction of undergarments every model should have uh, variants of thongs and seamless underwear so you should have black thong nude thong and make sure it is your complexion of nude you should also have black seamless underwear nude seamless underwear I don't know how I feel about showing my underwear on the internet but here is an example of like a nude wow it's like blending in this is from Skims. This is a nude strapless bra, but just look look at that. Look at that blend. So that's my point. You want to get undergarments that match the color of your skin, and you also want black options. And you guys, it took me so long to find um, nude underwear. Like, I would go to set, and clients would ask me to bring nude underwear, and I would come in with, like, pale colored underwear, and they're looking at me like, this is not... This is not your nude. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know. So I'm saving you guys that trouble. If you're watching this and maybe you're darker complexion, make sure you get something that also matches your complexion. Don't be silly like me. 
yeah. All right, now getting to the techie side of things. This one is a bit of an investment, but the ninth thing that every aspiring model should have is an iPad. When I tell you guys, back in the day, and I made a video on this about um, if you're curious of how to build your portfolio, you can watch the video. I'll leave the link somewhere. But back in the day, we used to use like the hardcover portfolio books and have to print out our images and give them to casting directors and agencies whenever we were trying to book something or get signed. So it's convenient to have an iPad. Mine is dead right now, <laughs> but usually, if you're going to meet with an agency, going to meet with a client, I create a separate album on my iCloud that is labeled portfolio. So all my photos are on there so I can just hand it to them and they swipe through like that. I feel like every aspiring model should have a tripod. Post COVID, self tapes have gotten out of hand. The amount of self tape requests you're gonna get once you start working and putting yourself out there and clients wanna see your face but they don't necessarily want you to come in in person, you're gonna have to be recording a lot of videos. So you're gonna need a tripod, you're gonna need the little um, Bluetooth remote, and you're also gonna need this thing to put your phone your phone holder I don't even know what you call this and last but certainly not least every aspiring model should have some kind of large model bag that is still cute this one is a little raggedy because I've literally had it for longer than I've been alive obviously I'm exaggerating but I, this has been my model bag for a while if you guys have been watching my channel you can scroll back to like five years ago where I did a what's in my model bag video and it was the same bag and now like the skin is like peeling off and stuff. So I definitely have to invest in a new one. And I'm thinking I might do a black Louis um, Neverfull, but we'll see. We'll see, that's a bit of an investment. When I first started out modeling, I did not have a bag that was this deep. So I would have to carry like sometimes like a bulky book bag or like a um, like a drawstring bag to fit everything in it and it just did not look like I wasn't presenting as a model and I feel like having just a classic black bag um, it's just a part of the model uniform as you guys um, grow and you start to see the way other models dress and you get more in the know of the industry you see that even if you're not all dolled up and glammed up there's still a certain look there's a model uniform that you wear just so you can still look put together and look like a model and you can fit so much stuff in here like I don't know if this looks that big to you guys on camera but it doesn't look that big when I'm like carrying it around but it fits so much stuff in there it fits my portfolio if I need to um, change shoes, it fits my, the little sandal heels that I was showing you guys, it fits those in there. If I wanted to throw my booties in here, it fits those in there. If I needed an extra like little makeup bag with those six essential makeup items I told you guys about, that fits in here. All of my um, undergarments fits in here. And this was from Target. Okay, this was from Target for maybe like $25.00 not a big investment at all so that wraps it up for this video of 10 things every aspiring model should have i hope you guys found it helpful i do realize that these tips were leaning more so towards female models but i do think that is the majority of my audience but if there are any guys that watch my channel um any males that are looking to get into the modeling industry and you want me to make some more videos tailored to the male aspect of entering the modeling industry just comment down below i don't know what you guys need help with unless you ask me and unless you tell me and a few of you have been sliding in my dms inquiring about my um model one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions i am still offering my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and my students have found it so helpful and they've been so successful and i'm so proud i would love to work with more of you so if you guys are interested in that definitely shoot me a dm on instagram um, or comment down below and I'll try to reach out to you in any way that I can. But I just want to help you guys. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!